Hey guys, Jay is here with Blender Tutorial and in this tutorial you gonna learn how to achieve this sort of look and uh, I have uh, started screen keys so don't worry if you don't know about shortcuts so uh, without getting sad let's get started so first of all open the blender and delete the default cube and light add a text change to anything you want add a font I'm using this extrude a little bit and uh, set depth and resolution for the depth and cp and uh, copy right about that older top text now add a cylinder for cutting hole in our text so scale it down scale on z axis again and uh, set value one hole in our text scale it down a little bit and scale on z axis okay that's fine now we want to make uh, this cylinder little bit smooth looking so we will add sub sub modifier but first we need to add grid below it so go to edit mode uh, select the first top vertices extrude inverse and scale extrude again and scale below delete vertices uh, select the uh, loop and add grid fill on it now create loop here and also here actually inverse scale on 0 and then add grid fill add sub sub modifier with the sub sub modifier we will have very smooth looking cylinder now copy where you want holes like this <laughs> Select all and join together by Ctrl J. Now select text and next on curve your text. Now add a boolean modifier to text and for object now you have to select cylinder and operation which we are going to use different. Set pivot point to individual origin, scale a little bit, and we have this. Add boolean modifier for object. We have to join them all. Select object as a cylinder and differentiate from text. Apply modifier, and there you have it. A uh, very cool looking circles. Now go to another layer, the second layer. Select them all, Shift D, press Shift D, and move to layer 1. Now, with the individual orange selected, scale a little bit on the and place like that. Now, create spring, add a circle, circle scale little bit down and draw it on x axis now add screw modifier screw and on a y axis go to edit mode and play with some settings steps we are using 20 for smooth looking and then the step also 20 now play with some settings make what we like with iterations uh, select the first cylinder now shift s and cursor to select it or cursor to center and now go to spring and select spring and shift s and selection to cursor now scale a little bit them and 
inspiration uh, makes inspiration high cycles change uh, blender and cycle blender split the screen and uh, add new material with the uh, screen selected add glossy and delete the diffuse color and mix shader and mix it with free nail on the mix factor and change color to very pure white again shift, select select the another cylinder and shift s uh, so, uh, cursor to select selection and shift b uh, go to screen shift b and uh, select uh, selection to cursor do same thing for another very dark yellow color and for uh, uh, any and a new color again we have uh, we need yellow light yellow color like this and another we will uh, we really use uh, white pure white color as a transparent transparency and some faded look add a texture coordinate node and set generate to vector of mix shader now add uh, add a mix shader and mix right there add a diffuse shader and drag Glossy output to diffuse input like this and diffuse output to mix shader and second shader. Now add a free null node, add free null node and drag output of free null node to mix vector. Okay. Play with some settings. We have this sort of look, this sort of fade look, which we really want. There you go. We have a nice looking material so far. Time to make material for uh, bottom text. With the bottom text selected, with the bottom text selected, create a new. Add a close shader, click diffuse shader, and uh, we need yellow yellow color like a like a gold. Create new glossy material, uh, material node and mix with mix them together with mix shader. And for another glossy shader, we need some reddish color and add final node. Uh, select and control J to join the cylinders together and uh, add new material closing material and mix and mix shader and uh, mix with final node and there you have it very cool looking material so far and new layer new plane for surface this change the camera position and change with the emission value now 
add material to add material to surface little bit darker glossy color now i am very lazy so uh, i am using the add on uh, with use of this finger add on we will we will create screw make so make, make sure you have enable this uh, add on s is finger shift a and uh, shift a and s is finger uh, uh, you know what is this click on that and now we need nut and bolt so click on that by collecting uh, bolt to hq i am using this and a new material for that add a glossy and delete the diffuse add a mix shader now create if you shader and mix on this first shader of the mix shader in the color to darker brown color for grunge metal like something like that copy and paste where you want make sure you copy them to view port so you can uh, see final thing you will do from the camera using shift d and duplicate the first jay text and separate them like this uh, i am using p to separate them and place anywhere where you want scale it rotate it and grab it it's very easy everyone can do it Let's uh, place some springs on surface. There we go. It's very easy. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Then shift D and drag. Shift D and drag. Oops. There we go. Save the project, and you are ready to go for render. Save the project. It's a good idea to save a project before you render. I will make tutorial as soon as possible on the post processing on this image. Oh my goodness, I have worked so hard on this tutorial. It's better you guys leave a like on this video and comment. So stay tuned and thank you so much guys for watching. I really appreciate you.